negotiations continue today and still no deal announced, meaning we may be on the brink of the second teacher strike here in Chicago in less than two years. This one over a disagreement about when to return physically to the classroom. The city wanted that date to be February 1st for elementary and middle school students, about 70,000 of them having the option to come back and return to that in-person instruction. And they wanted teachers to start coming back to school today in preparation for that. But the union has been rejecting this reopening plan, saying that it is happening too quickly. They say it's a matter of health and safety and that they want a reopening plan that's closer to the vaccination plan. They want their teachers to be vaccinated before returning to the classrooms. Parents telling me that they just feel stuck in the middle. They see the effects, the psychological effects of their students in that virtual learning. But you have other families saying this. Listen here. Why are we being forced to send my husband back to teach my students back to learn? And then we know that children are carriers and that they will be carrying it back home. We have taken every safety precaution since the beginning. And because the return to in-person learning would be optional for those families, you're also seeing a disparity in who is deciding to send their kids back. When you look at Black, Latino, Asian families, only about a third of those families plan to return to in-person learning. When you look at white families across the city in elementary schools, that number jumps to about 70 percent. Shep? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.